Hello, my friends. How are you doing on this beautiful, beautiful day? At least where I'm at, it is very cold, but it is gorgeous. Blue skies from as far as your eye can see. Very beautiful day today. So I want to thank the Lord. I'm on my way to church. I want to thank, thank the Lord for such a beautiful day today. I'd like it to be a tad bit warmer, but the Lord woke me up. I have another day, so I have a lot to be thankful for. And that's what I want to talk about in this video, being thankful. Something a lot of us lack in our Christian walk, and our Christian faith. We are not thankful. We just don't thank the Lord like we should. You know, God does so much that most of us don't even fathom. It doesn't even cross our, our, our brain. I mean, it, it doesn't even come, come into to our thought pattern in the daytime, the things that he does for us. Just as I said, I got up out of bed this morning because the Lord granted me another morning, another day to wake up, you know, and I should be thankful for that. But how many people, and I'm talking about believers, that wake up this morning, or if they're still in bed, I know on the West Coast it's, it's still early, 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 uh, when they finally wake up, how many of them... When their feet hits the floor, they're going to thank God for giving them another morning, another day to be with their, their, their family, their loved ones, another day to, 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 to do wonderful things for the Lord. How many? I would probably say not many. And that's sad. That, that is a sad thing because people, once you become saved and you become a Christian after, um, after a little while, you become complacent. You stop doing the things that you did when you first became a believer. When you first gave your life to the Lord, uh, you you read your Bible every day. You never never uh, never uh, missed. You you prayed every day. You never missed. You talked to uh, to others about the Lord. You never you know you never missed that opportunity. Never let it go by the wayside. You know you always you know, tried to witness or, 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 or to others, but as we go through our Christian walk, we tend to forget a lot of this. We, we tend to, to not be as thankful that God saved us from uh, eternity in, in hell by sending His Son, Lord, the Lord Jesus Christ, down to earth to, to die a horrific death on the cross for us. God did that for us. He loved us so much that He gave His only begotten Son you know, he loved us so much, but yet we forget to thank him. I mean, the simple, simple thing of two words, thank you. Thank you. And so many forget. I don't even know if it's forgetting. I don't even think it crosses their, their wavelength anymore. Now, when something wonderful happens in their lives... You know, something, you know, that, that really is just fantastic. Oh, yeah, you'll get plenty of thanks then. You'll, you'll be thanking the Lord all day long when something like that happens. But, you know, it's just as important to thank God for the, what I would say, the little things in life. I don't consider, you know, waking up and being given another day a little thing. But you get what I'm talking about. So, you know, things that most people don't consider to thank God for, you know, um, just like, I, I'll give you an example. I have some problems walking far distances. I've had probably 30 plus knee surgeries on both my knees. Uh, they have had a double replacement. So, you know, when I can get a parking spot close up to wherever I need to go into, I thank God for that. You know, thank you, Lord. That that that's awesome. You know, I mean, th this is what I'm talking about—the little things—and we've just become, we've become so complacent. That is a perfect word, an absolute perfect word to use. Complacency. We've become so complacent in our Christian walk that we take so much for granted. Think back. I want you to think back today. Sometime today, I'd like you to think back when you first, you know, gave your life to the Lord. When you first became a Christian, 
I want you to think back about that time, how wonderful it was, how you were just, you know, just so thankful that, that you know, you, you, you were just bubbling over, you know, with joy and, and happiness and, and, and you were just happy and thankful God did this and God did that for you. Think back today. Take a moment sometime today and think back and tell me if I'm not right. Tell me if, if, if you and your walk has become complacent. Now, I'm not picking on you guys. The reason I bring these videos up and make videos about them is because it's things that I've done in my, my Christian walk that I need to correct. And that's the reason I make these videos. It ain't that I do everything just wonderfully and this, that. No, I make a lot of mistakes. And I learn from them. Sometimes the Lord punishes me for them. And I learn from those mistakes to not do it again. And that a lot of times is how I make these videos. So it's not nothing to do that I'm picking on you. Uh, as I say in a lot of my videos, I, I lump myself into a lot of this. But think about when you get up in the morning. When your feet hit that floor, you've been given another day. Okay, there's one great thing to be thankful for. All right, you went downstairs. I don't know, you know, how your routine is, but let's just say you go downstairs and you get something to eat. Do you thank the Lord for the food that He's put on your plate? Do you thank the Lord for the food that's in the cabinet and the refrigerator that was had the ability to make that breakfast for you, your 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 family, your kids? Do you thank God for the food? Some people call it say, say saying grace. You know, I always say grace, you know, even if it's a quick bite and I'm in a hurry, I always close my eyes and thank God for, for giving, giving me the food that I'm about to eat. Although most of it ain't very healthy, I will say that, but nonetheless, it's there. I mean, think about that. You go upstairs, you get ready, you take your shower, you put your clothes on, you head to work. You ever thank God that you got to work safely? especially in rush hour traffic with all the hustle and bustle and the bumper to bumper and people mad and screaming because they're late and they're darting in and out. And, but you made it there safe. You got to work safe. You got home safe in that rush hour traffic to, to spend another evening with your children, with your family, your loved ones. Do you thank God for that? That you made it inside the door? Do you thank Him for keeping His hand upon you, giving you travel mercies? Do you thank Him? See, there's so much. This is why I say Christians have become, become complacent. You know, and you could probably yourselves think of a lot more than, than I've just come up with. But that was just a few minor examples that every one of us do. Every one of us get up. Every one of us eat breakfast. Every one of us head out the door and have to go somewhere. So, you know, sometime today... Just think back to when you first gave your life to the Lord. and Think about how wonderful that was. And then after that, I want you to, to thank, God, thank God for just whatever. Just thank Him for, for saving you. Thank Him for sending His, His only Son down to this earth so we would have the ability to spend eternity with Him in paradise in heaven. Just uh, be thankful. You know, I, I know we all have a lot of things on our minds today. I know as Americans, we're on, the, as they say, we are in the middle of the hustle and the bustle. You know, we're, we're living the fast life, and I don't mean the fast life of drugs and all that. I mean that we have a lot on our plate, so to speak. We do a lot, and sometimes, a lot of times, we forget to be thankful for what God's given us. You know, your children, your children's got 10 fingers, 10 toes, you know, be thankful that your child's healthy and heaven forbid your child has got some illness or was born with a, a defect. Be thankful that he or she is still with you and God's given you that gift. And, you know, I know some children are born with horrific birth defects and this and that. And, you know, some people might think, you know what, David, why should I be thankful because my child was born with muscular dystrophy 
or my child was born with with a crippling arthritic disease well you know what there's a lot of children that are born that don't even make it past birth they die and they die uh, at birth stillbirth or you know there was they were uh, what do they call that the, the woman had a mis miscarriage miscarry uh, I, that's not the right word but you get what I'm saying so be thankful that you know I know it's hard having a child in that condition but there's still a lot of things you can be thankful for. It may not seem it, but I promise you there is a lot of things. So anyways, be thankful today at some point in some time. And just think back what I said earlier. All right. Take care. God bless. Have a wonderful day. Bye-bye.